before I could read them. I found them to be true. That's why I believe them with all of my heart, my soul, and my strength. With every song I sing, I choose to be a Christian. I will follow Christ, carry the cross that leads to life. I will be true, stand for my conviction, whatever others do. I choose to be a Christian. As this world grows darker, my lamp will be burning, kindled with love for the one who is worthy. He gave his all, so I will give mine. I lay my life on the line. I choose to be a Christian. I myself at a crossroads. I knew the time was right. For God's Holy Spirit spoke to my heart that night. He showed me my lost condition. I vowed in full contrition. Now I'm in a new condition since made of my mind. I've made up my mind, no matter what others say, I will follow Christ and walk in His ways. Though the battle gets hard and the road gets steep, that's okay, cause I've set my Trouble came running to me, so I had to make a choice. Would I run or take a stand against this evil force? But after all God's done for me, Jesus' blood has set me free. I choose to walk in liberty, cause I made up my mind.
almost embarrassed myself the other day, and I'll go ahead and tell on myself, but that's okay. Uh, I did my balancing of my checkbook. I still write checks, but uh, I was tallying everything up, Brother Dale, and uh, it didn't tally up right. I said, the bank has gypped me. The way I done it, it was over $100, and uh, that didn't sit well with me. And uh, I had the day off, and I said, I'm going to go to the bank, and I'm going to have a little chat with them because they've shortchanged me or lost my money. But there's one problem with that, Brother Dale. I didn't consider that I had made an error. But I felt like the Holy Spirit told me, go back and look at your records. And I went to Walmart to get these. And I didn't do my tallying like I always do it. And uh, I, like I said, I'd done my tallying and uh, went back and I had found the error. But Brother Dale, you know, God's word says for us to hide his word in our heart that we might not sin against him. But he still, when I read his word, hey, I'm not through growing yet. I've not arrived. God's still working on me like that little kid song. But all I'm saying is, how is your tallying going with your spiritual life? And it all, to me, goes back to God's word. And that's, that's God in our heart. But, hey, like, like I said, you know, this song says it. You know, I, I can't make it without the Lord. He, I even need him to help me with my math. That's all I'm saying. I need him in everything that I do. I need you, Lord, like the flowers need the sunshine and the rain. I need you just like the seasons need the winter and the spring. Oh, I'm not very much, Lord. I need you to see me through. Because you can make it without me, Lord. I can't make it without you. I need you, Lord, till the rivers all run dry. I need you till the sun falls from the sky. And I need you, Lord, till life on earth is through. Cause you can make it without me, Lord. I can't make it without you. Like the child without its mama's hand to hold to. Lord, that's just exactly how I am without you. I must follow in your footsteps no matter what others do. Because you can make it without me, Lord. I can't make it without you. You were there for me Through it all And everyone around said I would fall You were my friend You believed In me Through the good times, through the bad, the 
time. And 
you chose to be my friend. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. So you went the extra mile just to prove your love was true. You held out your hand as they drove the nails in you. When you could have walked away, turn your back to all my sin. But for me, you gave your life, and you chose to be my friend. Amen. Amen. Good job. Buddy. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bless his name. The song said, when everyone around me said I would fall, you believed in me and chose to be my friend. Hallelujah. When everyone around you said you'd fall, he believed in you. I'm going to keep saying that until it sinks in your head. You'll never make it. I'll give you two weeks. You'll be right back. You've been away from the Lord way too long. You'll never make it. Jesus said, I believe in you. I believe in you. Don't listen to them. I believe in you. You can do this. I'll be your friend. <laughs> what a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. I'm so thankful tonight. I've got Jesus as my friend. Amen. He's not just any ordinary friend. He's got everything under control. Amen. He knows what you need tonight. Boy, it's good to be in the Lord's house. There's no substitute for the Spirit. I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate His goodness. I appreciate the privilege to be able to cry. I read this in the prayer room this morning and just absolutely can't get it off my spirit. So I'm going to try to preach from it just a little bit tonight. Psalms 100. Psalms 100. It's good to have our visitors with us tonight. Appreciate you being here. Most of all, appreciate the Holy Ghost. Amen. Set through a lot of services that, to be honest, he never come. But I went back the next time hoping he would. And one visit from the Spirit is, makes it worthwhile. I'd rather be an old-time Christian as anything I know. Amen. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Bless his name. You may be seated. Amen. I'm going to uh, try to. The Lord been dealing with me today. Ever since I read this this morning, I was coming down the road and God kindly put it in my spirit uh, to read this in the prayer room. But when I read it and uh, I, I, I got said the Lord just started dealing with me, I'm going to preach from verse number one. If the Lord will help us make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And I, I guess sometimes, and I, it probably is what it means, but uh, making a joyful noise and I've heard a lot of excuses why uh, that people don't sing in the choir and why they don't do this and why they don't do that and uh, they can't carry a tune in a bucket and I'll be honest I can't either much I'm just loud amen but it's not in it's not in how good that uh, that the four part harmony comes out I like all that uh, but I've heard people that could harmonize it amen they wasn't didn't have no power in it uh, but they was uh, uh, there is a group that we was listening to coming down the road this evening and I just feel the good Lord of heaven 
just coming by tonight. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. I want to preach to you tonight. Amen. God's been good to us. Bless his name. Amen. Whatever uh, that the instruments, Brother Joe, I started playing over the radio. I told my wife, amen, I can feel that good Holy Ghost before they ever opened their mouth. Amen. The Bible said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I'm thankful uh, when we come into this choir. I'm going to get down to uh, the meat of it in a minute. Just hang on. Amen. I we come in the choir and, and we open up them uh, them books and, and that choir song and uh, there's a lot of them that we've sung hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times and, and uh, it becomes like a broke record. You might as well just say amen to that. Uh, but every once in a while it'll get down in our spirit. Amen. We'll start singing the Lord is good. Amen. His mercy. Hallelujah. Verse number 35 or page number 35 in the book. The Lord is good. Amen. I was on my way to hell. And we start that last verse. And we've all got a story to tell how the Lord come by our way. Whether you was on a church pew or on your way to hell by the means. Amen. Of being an alcoholic or a drug addict. Amen. How close to hell was we really when God come by for the last time. I don't know how many more times Homer he would have visited your heart's door before he turned his back and walked away but I want to say I'm thankful for that time he come back amen and knocked on my heart and I my heart's door. Hallelujah. And when he come on the inside, he said, if you'll open, and behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open unto me, I'll come in unto him. He can sup with me, and I'll sup with him. Can I say thank you, Lord, for coming by my way? Hey, I said coming by my way. Beneath our feet tonight is a hell that's raging, a fire that's hot. There's people going there right as we speak. The funeral homes has got bodies laying in them and the souls are screaming in hell. But here we are tonight. Hey, one writer called it the gateway to heaven. Hey, Amen. Here we are worshiping a God that hung the star. And I thought enough of you to come to where you was. A wretched sinner on your way to hell and opened up his arms wide open. Hallelujah. And I'm glad I ran into him. He put me at his table and the things I've eat off his table can't be bought in this well, I say hallelujah. I'm glad I'm on the winning side. Amen. We ought to worship the Lord. It ought to be hard to get you to raise your hand. The Lord's answered prayer for people this week in this building. Amen. Things we've been praying about that God come through in this building. Amen. There's a lot of people. Amen. That your heart is hurting because God. Amen. Ain't answered your prayer yet. But I heard what Kayla said. If he could go back. We're always striving after the next miracle. But every once in a while you need to glance back by the eye of faith and see what he's already done. Amen. He's already done enough for us to thank him and praise him. I believe God's going to work miracles for you, but he already has. Hey, they ain't no other God can do that. Buddha's dead and he ain't getting back up. Allah's dead and he ain't getting back up. But Jesus died and he got back up. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us and we need to praise him and thank him through it all. Amen. Make a joyful noise. Joyful is an attitude. Amen. When I was in school, they sent out what we call a report card. Anybody get one of them? Didn't do too good. I really didn't. I wasn't too smart. That's the reason why I questioned why the Lord ever called me to preach. Couldn't read good and still can't. But there's one little thing on there. I didn't care about math. I didn't care about social studies. I didn't care about none of them. There's one of them. My daddy would make me study harder or try to. But there's one of them on there called conduct. Amen. I was, I never was mean. I wasn't mean, what you could call mean. But I was full of it. So every week, 
every six weeks I got a report card and I somewhere in the archives my mother kept them all you could dig them out and you could have your life if you wanted to amen but they had, they had an appointment with my, my mom and dad and I'm not going to go all into that but I had to get one every Friday and it wasn't how good he's doing and hadn't or subtracting. It was in conduct. Y'all like like you would. Don't look at me like that. You, you rascal. Amen. He, he skipped class all the time. We could go in to a whole list of things in our conduct, the attitude that we had. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Attitude really does mean something. Amen. After that, you get saved. I want to say tonight, amen, the things that we have uh, that's raging in our life. If we went according to how the devil uh, would give us a report card, he would tell us, you need to blame God. Amen. For every time, amen, every morning you get up and your prayer ain't been answered. Why would you? want to serve a God and that don't jump to the conclusion every time that you ask him to work a miracle for you where's he at I want to ask you tonight has anybody ever had the devil say if God's as good as you say he is where's he at now why are you sitting here to doctor how come he ain't come through for you how come matters is getting worse amen you if you ain't real careful our attitude towards God amen ain't gonna look all that good but I want to tell you what Gideon did he looked down the camp of the, of the enemy and he said they look like the sands of the sea but all I know to do is have the right attitude and just do what God says to do hey, I'm going to have a joyful noise unto the Lord he didn't say draw your sword he said blow the trumpet hey, amen the enemy don't know how to act when you praise the Lord in the face of trouble I said in the face of trouble hey, amen there's a lot of people will trust in the things of the world but when you trust in the Lord can I tell you he ain't never, never, never failed. I said never failed. So trust in him. He will never let you down. Make a joyful noise under the Lord. Oh, you lands. What's your conduct look like in your walk with God? What's your attitude? It matters. It matters. The enemy's out there. Oh, it's okay. Those that are with us are more than they are with them. It's okay. You don't understand what's going on in my life. I probably don't. But can I say, it'll be okay. Hallelujah. I seen you walking around the church. I don't know what I would do if I was in your situation. But if you're, if you're leaning on God, he ain't never gonna let you down. I don't can't tell you what's gonna happen tomorrow, but I can tell you, you can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. If I had to change anything, I'd change a lot of things. Amen. I wish things was this way or that way. I would make it like I wanted. I'd make it to rain at night and sunshine in the day. I've got to dig footers. Amen. But I'm glad I'm not a control but I am telling you who is and he's the same one that makes the raindrops fall out of heaven it's the same one that knows where you live at somebody ought to help me tonight amen he's the same God I'm trying to encourage you tonight to make a joyful noise amen we can come into his court amen he ain't got to answer a prayer every day for you for you to raise your head he's God and besides him there are none other if he don't ever answer another one I'm going to a land hallelujah where we'll never say goodbye again. I'm going to a land where there'll be no bad news. So I'm gonna say he's gonna answer prayer in his time and after a while, we're gonna leave it all behind anyway. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. You lost your job. I know. I've, I've lost mine before too. And I'm not real sure I've done real good. Come on now. That old one preacher on his way to church, Brother Kim, had a flat tar. He got out and started walking around the vehicle in the pouring rain with his hands up in the air, praising the Lord. Somebody from the church come by, spooled the window down about that far, 
I said, what's wrong? He said, I've got a flat. Why in the world are you walking around in the pouring rain praising the Lord? He said, the Lord just reminded me, I've got three that still got air in them. Hallelujah. Amen. That old devil tries to get you to look at every dark side. Amen. But shame on the devil. He ain't never give me one breath of air. Amen. He ain't never helped me make one step. Hallelujah. God has done it all. He made the stars and hung them out. I calls them all by name. He knoweth the way that I take. He knows what's going on in my world. He knows the tears you cry But praise his holy name He's got them bottled up God ain't forgot nothing And I say trust in him He'll never fail you Be sure you keep a good attitude And you can come through it a whole lot easier Amen I couldn't imagine go through what you have But I can tell you what the word says The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him open his eyes the man of God said God opened his eyes and he looked in his camp fires all around the hillside camping out around that man of God positive attitude you showed me everything the enemy was doing how come you didn't show me to get out of town before the enemy came but let's keep a good attitude and God may just open your eyes to see how good he really is. Why didn't you keep me out of that fiery furnace? Positive attitude, remember. You forgot me. I quit. That's all that had to done, Johnny. We never got the story of the three Hebrew children. I quit. All that had to done was just bow. That's all that had to done. That's all you got to do. It's just bow. The enemy says you don't have to live like that. Just bow. That's all you got to do. Hey, man, but you got to look back to the enemy with a good attitude. Or agree with thine adversary while in the way with him. You don't have to do that, he'll tell you. And you tell him, I know I don't. Hey, man, but the Lord ain't beating me over the head to try to make me. I want to do what I do because I love him. And I said because I love him. Bless his holy name. He's done more to you than you deserve anyhow. And we ought to have a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall. In all things. Now, wait a minute. Did you say that right? How many things? In all things. I don't know when it's going to be, but you're going to run into somebody that's lost their job. You know these people that'll blow their brains out when things like that happen. They're going to run. You're going to run into somebody that went through the same exact thing you are. And when they say, "How do you ever make it?" Are you telling me the nights don't get lonely? No, you'd be crazy to say that. But I can tell you one thing: How did you make it? By the Lord and having a positive attitude. We're all guilty. We're all guilty with our head being down. When God wants the last handful, most of us won't give it. So you never experience the cakes until the drought's over. But if you'll have a positive attitude and in all thy ways acknowledge him and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now when you go out and fight this battle, I don't want you to put no men in the front with a sword. I want you to put stingers. Now, can you imagine, Brother Keith Carson, United States of America, in God we trust. That's still on our money. That's how it was founded. In God we trust was to go up against one of these other nations with machine guns and, and all these armored vehicles. See, that's how you fight a war, you see. You pick out the best that you got. But here's the United States of America. Amen. If there's a man in office that would say, the Lord spoke to me last night and said to get about two or three hundred people to go out in front of everybody and sing. What are you going to sing? This is a song he said to sing. The Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. The Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, they ain't never been nothing that put the enemy to fight in your life rather than having a positive attitude and a joyful sound in the presence of trouble. Amen. Don't put your head down. Don't threaten the 
the devil. You can't threaten him. Just praise him in his face because you know God will come through again. Hallelujah. Amen. It's one thing to shake the tambourine after Pharaoh's dead. But it's another thing to shake it when he's closing in on you. I don't know whether God's going to deliver us or not. But whether or not he does, I still ain't going to bow. We're going to keep a positive attitude. Amen. I don't know how long it's going to be before I see some seats filled up. But let's don't be negative. Let's don't be negative. Let's be positive. Amen. That's the killer of our churches is being negative. That's the killer of our homes is being negative. Everybody's out to get you. And the devil will point that out to you. But let's be positive. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Because the word said, for God made us and not we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pasture. We are his people. And he knows what to do. Be positive. Be positive. Has anybody ever complained about your job? Come on, be honest. Do you know there's a lot of people who love to have yours? You need to be positive. Because if, you make a, if you've got a job that's $5 an hour and God has got you where he wants you, they'll be sufficient enough. Go out and pick that manna up. He that gathered little lacked nothing. And he that gathered much had nothing left. If you'll be positive and make a joyful noise. When you open your mouth in the morning, when you walk through the gates over yonder, be sure it's a joyful noise. When you get up in the morning, be sure it's a joyful noise. When that cardinal wakes up the morning with that, with that high-pitched song, it has no idea where its next bug will come from. But it sings anyway. The nightingale don't sing pretty, but the beauty of it is, is when it sings. In the midnight, when the rest of them's got their head tucked under their wing, that old nightingale's got his head up, looking up in the stars are singing. I want to say, help us to be like the nightingale. Amen. When everybody else is wanting the sun to shine, you may be a fire weather Christian. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you are, you won't last very long. The storms and troubles are coming. But when everybody else says, I quit, you raise your head and say, I'm going to make a joyful noise. Amen. The storm won't look so bad when you're praising him in the middle of it. Amen. I don't even know how to give this altar call. May not even ask nobody to come and pray. But I want to give you a challenge. Be joyful. See, I don't, I heard, I said this the other night. I really don't think a lot about watching the leaves blow. But he does. Because he's looking through wire and didn't see none. Now he looks through a window and he hears a rooster crow, or a lot of them. Sees the wind blow. And he makes a joyful noise and says, I'm so glad that I'm not where I used to be. If you could just go back to the day before you got saved. Remember where you was and how bound you was and how far you was on your way to hell. And the world says you'll never make it. And he chose to be your friend. He says, I believe in you. So let's don't forget everything the Lord's done for us. Let's don't be negative. The things that you have are things that he has gave you. And he's entrusted to hand to you. So let's be careful we don't complain so much. Let's be thankful. I'm tired of manna. Okay, I'll send you quail. But then he killed them while the was in their teeth. He opened the ground and swallowed them. Bring us out here to die, complaining all the time. We can't do it. We can't do it. There's no way. There's giants over there. We can't do it. There's two people that had a joyful sound. We're well able. We're well able. We're well able. In this world, the world tells these teenagers, you'll never make it. You can't make it. There's no way you can live a godly life in, these, in 2024.
may take a few years, but you'll get to see the promised land nobody else will. It's a positive attitude while we're all standing tonight.